Imagine a commercial plane cutting through the sky at twice the speed of sound and flying high enough to see the curvature of the Earth. Flying from New York to London in just over three hours instead of seven. For nearly 30 years, this was made possible through the Concorde, a supersonic commercial jet. But what happened to the Concorde? Why did this marvel of engineering disappear from our skies? Today, I'm diving deep into the rise and fall of the Concorde, exploring the groundbreaking technology that made it possible, and why supersonic commercial travel became a dream lost to history. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. Let's get started. In 1962, two rivals, Britain and France, joined forces to create the world's first supersonic passenger jet, with the mission of reducing flight time by half and outpacing the aerospace dominance of the US and the Soviet Union. The Concorde, named after the word agreements in both languages, was born from this partnership. The Concorde was a feat of engineering unlike any other. Its iconic delta-shaped wings, developed to minimize drag at supersonic speeds, were critical for stable flight at over 1,350 miles per hour. And then, there were the four Rolls-Royce engines, powering the aircraft to a cruising altitude of 60,000 feet, higher than any other commercial plane. At supersonic speeds, the friction of air heated the Concorde, causing it to expand by up to 10 inches during flight. And who could forget the drop nose? Another iconic feature was its drop nose, which tilted downwards during takeoff and landing to give pilots better visibility. The Concorde wasn't just fast, it was a flying symbol of luxury. With ticket prices reaching up to $20,000 in today's money, this aircraft was reserved for the elite. Flying at twice the speed of sound wasn't just about getting to your destination faster, it was about arriving in style. But the Concorde's ascent to greatness wasn't without turbulence. As it roared across the skies at supersonic speeds, it left a trail of controversy. They say the plane is all wrong. Too dare, too small, too dirty and too noisy. Sonic booms created by the Concorde's flights were disruptive, shaking windows and rattling nerves. Sonic boom. Many countries, including the United States, restricted its flights to transatlantic routes to minimize noise over land. Then there was the issue of fuel. The Concorde guzzled fuel at an astonishing rate, far higher than its subsonic counterparts. Its operating costs were enormous, and despite its sky-high ticket prices, the Concorde was never profitable. It was an expensive dream, one that became harder to sustain with each passing year. On July 25, 2000, disaster struck. Air France Flight for crashed shortly after takeoff from Paris, killing everyone on board. Investigators traced the cause to a piece of debris left on the runway, which ruptured one of the Concorde's tires, sending fragments into a fuel tank and igniting a catastrophic fire. This tragedy shook public confidence in the Concorde. The aircraft was grounded, and although safety upgrades were made, the damage to its reputation, coupled with rising maintenance costs, led to a difficult decision. On October 24, 2003, the Concorde made its final commercial flight. Crowds gathered at airports to watch as the last supersonic passenger jet touched down, marking the end of an era in aviation history. For many, it was more than just a plane, it was the embodiment of human ambition and the pursuit of speed. But ambition comes at a cost, and the Concorde was simply too expensive to keep in the skies. Today, the remaining Concorde jets rest in museums around the world, a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. But they also serve as a reminder of the limits of technology and the price of progress. The Concorde may no longer grace our skies, but its legacy lives on in the technologies of tomorrow. The question remains, will we ever see supersonic passenger travel make a return? Let us know what you think in the comments below. The Concorde was more than just a plane, it was a bold experiment in human engineering, an icon of progress and luxury. Its retirement marked the end of a dream, 
but its memory lives on as a symbol of what's possible when we push the limits of technology. If you're watching at this point in the video, it means you enjoyed this deep dive into the history and technology of the Concorde. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more topics at the intersection of history and innovation.